Oh, there's a big one down there. Let's see if I can drop down and get his attention. Holy cow, look at him come already. Oh, ho, ho, that was a nicer one. Dang it. Holy cow, these fish are all sorts of fired up today. Look at them chase. Oh my God. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Envy Edits. Now today is a gorgeous, gorgeous day up here in Northern Wisconsin. And normally that would not be a problem, right? Gorgeous day, that sounds like a good time. Well, the problem is that's not good for ice and it's especially not good for early ice. The reason for that is because most of these lakes up here are not even frozen yet. We fortunately know of a lake that has good ice and we have been fishing it for the past week now, which you guys have been seeing on the channel. Now, today is about 50 degrees where I'm located and it feels great out, but the ice is definitely taking a toll. Now, a lot of the lakes that were close, sorry to tell you guys, but uh, they're, they're not really gonna be fishable. Now, the time you will be seeing this, which is Sunday, I believe, after Thanksgiving, the lake should be frozen again because it looks like we're supposed to be getting a cold snap here in the future. But if you're going out today like I am, the day before Thanksgiving, it's rough. If I turn it around on the ice, you can see this is what we're dealing with still. So we still have this much ice. Now this though is a pressure ridge. You can see the difference from this side to this side. This is all pressure ridge. Now this is all the same like what I just showed you. Now if I pan over here, you can see this is that clear stuff here. Now when I was walking out today, if I get my spud bar here, when I was walking out, I know with my spud bar, if I hit it once and it doesn't go through, I know I'm good. Now when I went over to like this stuff here and I hit it once, it's not nearly as solid as what it was. The other day when we were out here, we were not able to go through on this stuff in one chisel. So, the ice has definitely taken effect, but it's been sunny all day. But with that being said, I'm gonna stick to the ridge here today. And what I'm gonna be doing for today's video is I'm gonna be obviously crappie fishing just because this is one of my favorite crappie lakes. But on the side of that is I brought some tip-ups along today. I'm gonna be setting some tip-ups. Obviously in Wisconsin, you can have three lines. So I'm gonna be setting two tip-ups and then I'm gonna be jigging around with the live scope for some crappies for the meantime. And uh, we're gonna try to chase down some early ice pike. That's something we really don't do a whole lot on the channel. And believe it or not, we love pike fishing. Uh, it's one of the things that we do a lot. We just, for some reason, don't really film it on the channel. So if you guys like pike fishing and you wanna see more of it, leave a like, leave a comment, tell us why you like it, why we should film more of it. And yeah, we might do more of it. So. I'm going to get the tip ups, get my live scope, get all that ready, open up all these old holes, and I'm going to set some tip up and we're going to start today's video, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, so got the GoPro recording the live scope right now, and I've got my tip ups out, and we're going to see if we can catch some crappies today. And that is a good sign. <laughs> very first drop not a big one but holy cow he engulfed it make sure i don't have any flags you never know with pike just a small one to start the day but wow he was aggressive he was ready to hit that immediately oh there's a big one down there Let's see if i can drop down and get his attention holy cow look at him come already Oh, that was a nicer one. Dang it. Holy cow, these fish are all sorts of fired up today. Nothing like how it was yesterday. Look at them chase. Oh my God. This is insane. Hopefully today is the day where I can just pound a whole bunch of big ones. That would be amazing. Oh, we got a few coming. There we go, that's nicer. A little bit better than the first one. Still a smaller crappie, but we're going up in size here. And like I said, every time I film on this lake, you're gonna have to sort through the small ones. There are an abundance of crappies in here. But once you get that right school of big ones, watch out because, oh, we got a, a bigger one down there. And of course, the smaller one's gonna take it first. That's so cool with live scope, you can see which fish is bigger 
and which one isn't. Holy cow. It is a warm front today, so they I expect them to be biting. Smaller guy. Catching them one after another right now though, this is pretty fun. But now we got a bigger fish on the bottom, looks like a pike. That's funny. I got two tip-ups out and you can see on the bottom, oh yeah, here he comes. He got a pike underneath my jig. Why aren't you going for my tip-ups, dude? Like what? Look at this. I have two tip-ups out and you decide to come for my jig. What the heck? Let's see if I can get him to bite though, that'd be kind of fun. Oh, he looks like he's turning on it. Oh, that is so cool to see it on the live scope like that. Come on. Just hit it. Just eat it. You know you want this jig. Oh, and I see a big, oh, that might be a crappie. I see a big crappie coming in from the right-hand side here. Screw this pike. You're not gonna eat. I'm done with you. Now there's two of them. Oh boy. Come on, please. Please just come in here and smoke me. That is a giant mark. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes, oh my gosh. Come on. There it is, there it is. Okay, <laughs> not as big. Apparently it was picking it up really fine there, but I mean, that's a that's a decent crappie, probably a nice 10 inch or so. I'm surprised he hit with that pike right under it. Now the pike is gone, I see. It's another crappie. Let's see if I can get down there quick. Looks like another decent size. It's turning right on it right away. There we go. All right, so we're getting a little bit better of a school. There was only a couple of fish. So far, what I've noticed from uh, all the bigger ones that I've caught on this lake, the last couple of outings have been, the bigger ones have all been really suspended. Now, I'm only fishing 12 feet of water, so they can only be so far suspended, but most of the ones that are a little bit better have all come in, I'd say probably six feet down or so. And now that the pike freaking went through, now there's no fish and I have no tip up still. What's going on here? Got multiple fish down there. Come on. There we go. Decent little crappie. The most surprising thing to me, honestly, right now, is not the fact that I'm catching crappies. The fact that I have not gotten a single freaking flag. I, I don't know what the heck that is about. I have, uh, I've caught so many pike on this lake and I've even seen one on the live scope cruising around and I still can't, I still can't catch one. Here comes a big mark right now, big mark. All right, he looked big, but he... Okay, well, guess we'll never know if that was big or not. Big marks are coming through right now. I just was gonna start packing up some stuff and then these guys started to come through. These are the ones that I want. A little bit better. But those are the marks that I was looking for. Usually the ones that are suspended are gonna be the bigger crappies. And there was two of them. Soon as I was gonna start leaving. Big schools have all gone. They've kind of all disappeared, to be honest with you. I was really hoping that I could get a couple of nice fish topside. Pretty much all I've caught today, though, has just been those 10, 11 inchers. And yes, I have caught actually a decent amount of crappies today. I'd say probably a good 30 or 40, but uh, just no size so far. And they're kind of going in like spurts of where they are hitting and then where they're not. So I'm not sure what that's about, but. Overall, I mean, a pretty fun day. Can't come out and catch a giant every single time. The weird thing though, again, is just the no pike is very strange. Pike fish this lake a lot. 
and uh, that's why I wanted to make a video on it, but apparently not. I'm probably going to be packing up here in the next 20 minutes or so, and if I happen to catch a big one, then I will show you, but if not, I will most likely see you guys at the truck. Alright you guys, so I made it off the lake a little later than I wanted to, but I actually went live on YouTube. Um, and chatted with some of you guys for a while before getting off the lake, walking off, packing up, and now filming this outro. Today's video definitely did not go as planned at all. I went into it pretty much going to be targeting pike specifically and then crappie fishing just in between flags and stuff like that. And I did not get a single pike flag. Not sure what the hell was going on there or why because I saw the one on the live scope and the last few days I've seen tons of pike like swimming in and out of the areas that I've put the flag so I don't know maybe they like tungsten jigs and plastics more than the shiners yeah I don't know I doubt it but it happens and uh, that's part of fishing but the crappie fishing on the other hand was actually pretty decent I didn't catch anything of massive size but I did get on quite a few fish so hopefully you guys enjoyed still watching me clap the crap out of some crappies and if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed because we are going to be posting two to three times hopefully three times every tuesday thursday sunday every week throughout the entire winter we're back in the grind it feels awesome we love the support our first couple of videos have been doing really really well and uh we'd like to welcome a bunch of you new subscribers too we really do appreciate it things are looking up we love filming these videos for you so thank you all for the support i will catch you guys on the next one tight lines from nb edits Ooh.